Hey y'all, uh, come on into our kitchen, to my kitchen that you've seen for years uh, on TV. And is this the second show now that we've shot? Yes. Okay, I did a tour. I take I took y'all on a tour of this room, the it's kitchen. Exactly our oh, is it's it? Okay, so we did those two at the same time. I guess that's why I'm just thinking one. Uh, and I I took them down to the sitting area of the kitchen, didn't I, Eddie? Yeah, yes. Did I, the kitchen I, so tour. I showed yep. y'all everything? Yeah, we did some pantries. And... Yeah. All right. The next room I'm going to take you on a tour is going to be the living room. Uh, Eddie and I ordered the rugs, and they'll be here Wednesday. So after the rugs get down, then we'll run through the living room and let you see that. And uh, Let me hear from you. Um, did I talk about that deer head, Eddie? No, and I'm not quite sure that we've gotten up that far. Oh, okay, we didn't get up that but, high. But there he is. <laughs> uh, this is one of Michael's trophies. Uh, Y'all, please don't send ugly stuff to me <laughs> because personally, I could never, I could never hunt a live animal. I just could not do it. But I understand why some people do it to thin the herd and all of that. So, uh, well, we definitely had some venison. We didn't, we didn't just, we, oh, we, yes. we, we used yes. the meat. <laughs> yes, don't kill something <laughs> if you can't eat it. Um, so we did, we did, uh, render the meat from him, but I think he's such a beautiful animal and I apologize to him when Michael brought him in <laughs> because I told him, I said, listen, I'm your friend and um, you're beautiful, but I would never have done that to you. <laughs> but Michael needed a little piece of something that he loves included in this kitchen. So, you know, you do what you gotta do. So, that wasn't my doing. So, I'm so glad, I'm so glad to be back in our forever home. Cause when we built this home 17 years ago, uh, we built it when we got married and we said, this is gonna be our forever and always home. Well, that was until TV cameras and booms and started nailing things up on the ceiling for TV shows that we realized we couldn't do both. We couldn't live here and shoot here. It was, it was hard. Michael and I had to step over wires and step go under booms just to get to the kitchen. So anyway, a long story short, you know, that landed us at River Bend for 11 years. Were we there 11 years, Teresa? And it was 11 fun years. And Michael and I never sold this house because we knew at our age that there'd come a day when we wanted to downsize. And uh, so this was ready for us to move right back in after a good bit of construction work done on it. So anyway, uh, I know I've probably gotten way behind on my, uh, my uh, correspondence things to y'all, but Eddie and Teresa were showing me this morning some pictures that were sent in here to me from uh, young people out there, young handsome men out there that's uh, in their kitchen and baking using the air fryer. Uh, the magazine, I think they must both take the magazine because Brandon Johnson from Haleyville, Alabama made the air fried fruit pies. Look how cute that guy is. And he's got those fried pies down pat. And uh, yeah, so he does, he takes a magazine. Uh, Brandon takes a magazine and he made the banana poke cake 
from Cooking with Paula Dean magazine and he showed the magazine and look, his looks just like it. Brandon, <laughs> you did good, honey. And this is a piece after he cut that poke cake. Yummy, yummy. Brandon, I cannot thank you enough, honey, for uh, sending me these pictures of things that you've made. Uh, so if y'all are doing anything like that out there, send me the pictures because I do want to acknowledge y'all. All right, this is another young man, Ethan Roberts from Cushing, Oklahoma. Look how cute he is. And he made he actually won the air fryer giveaway, didn't he, Eddie? Yes. Yeah. So Actually, I want to say both. I want to say both those guys have won in the, the air fryers. Oh, really? Yeah. You think both of them have won the air fryers? So Ethan got his air fryer, and he made fried chicken. Look at that fried chicken. Does that not look good enough to? eat <laughs> way to go Ethan these young nothing thrills me more to see young people you know uh, using our recipes that we've come to love over the years and this he made this and it's a key lime icebox cake and it's from the July August issue of cooking with Paula Dean Good on you, Ethan. And Casey Powers, who is a dear young woman, she has been part of our uh, our uh, team, our business family for years, hadn't she? That's 17. 17 years, oh my gosh. I remember she was not married uh, and just a young girl and now she's got two of the cutest children you've ever seen. And Casey cooks a lot. In fact, I'm going to see one day if Casey will come here and shoot a video with me. But uh, she took a picture of the key lime icebox cake that she made, like Ethan's. They, uh, they uh, did it just a little bit different. And they both look good. Ethan put the whole slices of lime and uh, Casey just used the zest and maybe some mint in the center. And both ways are pretty. And uh, this is, Casey sent us the message and the picture. Uh, made the key lime ice box cake from June, from July, August issue. And it was awesome. <laughs> So Eddie sent back, I guess it was Eddie, maybe Teresa. Yum, we may need to get you on an episode soon, girl. I think that was Eddie. You think it was Eddie? I was wondering because um, there, Teresa and Kenzie and Casey all work in our little corporate office. And of course, Eddie works here with me out of the house. Who is that? Hey, Steve. <laughs> Come on, come on in. Uh, Steve is here. He built all these beautiful cabinets. What's the name of your company, Steve? Uh, it's SL Construction. SL Construction. And uh, he has been so good and easy to work with. He's so soft-spoken. Now, what have you come to measure? I have to measure something. On here okay, first. well, you go ahead and we'll just take a quick break and I'll be right back. So needless to say, I'm back. Steve got his measurements. Uh, when they were putting in the countertop, they didn't put a brace in the center, so it was kind of going like that. So Steve was here to fix up uh, that for us and make it right. So it didn't take him but a second, so we're, we're back to business. So Ethan and Brandon, thank y'all so much. Y'all are two cute guys and it just thrills an old girl to death to see you young men coming into the kitchen and cooking some of mama's recipes. So if any of y'all out there are doing that, take a picture and, and send me uh, 
a little info because I would love to see it and show it off for y'all. So, um, that gets this video. Now, I'm fixing to uh, come in and start with a fall video. These were all from summer uh, Cooking with Paula Dean magazines. So, we're moving on to fall because after all, it is September. So, love and best dishes. Y'all keep on baking, guys and girls. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.